International Fashion Network introduces We'll talk about fashion, glamour, and lifestyle on the most glamorous and fast-growing city of the world, Dubai. Dubai Fashion TV. Come visit us online at www.fashiontv.ae. So here I am in JG Kitchen with the chef himself, Chef Jean-Georges. How are you today, Chef? Very well, very well. Thank you. And thank you for coming tonight. Well, thank you for having us here. You've, this is the first opening for tonight. I'm very excited. It's the first night that uh, we're opening. It's about a couple of minutes ago that we opened. And we had an opening party last week. And uh, the whole town came. And it was really, I was very honored to have everybody here. So very exciting and thank you again for having us. So I want to say, what inspired you to bring your brand to Dubai? You know when I was in, uh, I live in New York, so six years ago, I heard a lot about this noise of Dubai, all this foodie coming here, Zuma, Petite Maison, Roberto's, the souk, the spices. And uh, I came here six years ago and um, I was I fell in love with the city. And I said one day I come back here and I open a restaurant. Fantastic. So I know you have 11 restaurants in New York. Can Dubai expect to see more of you? A lot of me, a lot of me for sure. Absolutely. Okay. And I know you have a lot of signature dishes as well in New York. Can we expect to see them in the Dubai menu? Yes, I call it actually in the kitchen here. I call it the best of. So we have uh, dishes from ABC Kitchen, from Jean Georges, from uh, the Marc Hotel, Mercer Kitchen, Perry Street. Spice market, so it's a little a medley of um, different things, you know, the best of. So I want to know. So there's there's two restaurants within this building, okay? Both which are under your name. So we've got the kitchen and we've got fine dining. Can you differentiate the difference between the two restaurants for me? Absolutely, uh, because he, I mean, we decided to do a. This is actually a kitchen, which is a little more casual, like an everyday restaurant, open kitchen, and it's something on the menu for every day for every, everybody. We have some pizza, some pasta, beautiful salads, main courses, and it's a, a little more casual, relaxed, so you can, as you can see, there's no table clothes, it's all fun. On next door we have uh, the fine dining, which only has uh, 12 tables, so very small and very fine, and uh, for somebody who wants to do a celebration, or a meeting, or be a little more quiet. So, but uh, with a testing menu, and actually the bar separates the two rooms. So it's very exciting, it's not too intimidating because you walk to the, to the kitchen, go to the bar and then go to the, the fine dining. So while you've been in Dubai, have you managed to sample any of the local cuisine? I did, I did. I mean, I went to um, everywhere from Le Souk downtown to, uh, of course, Zuma, Roberto's, uh, La Petite Maison, uh, something local, you know, actually our chef, uh, Colin, opened Zuma when he worked at uh, Kubra. So, which is like a modern uh, Arabic food. And I'm gonna try tomorrow night, I'm uh, supposed to try a, a Iraqi restaurant, so I'm excited to, to try all those new different things, you know. And uh, can we expect to see an incorporation of these local uh, dishes in the menu? Absolutely, uh, I came to bring my food from New York, but also to get inspired by local uh, spices. So I already have a, a little squab dish with some za'atar, so we have uh, started to play with spices, so it's exciting food, it's, uh, the region has a lot to offer and I'm happy to be here. Thank you very much, we're excited to have you here as well, thank you very much. So joining me now is Franco, who is the general manager of Jean-Georges Dubai. How are you today? Very good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. So I just wanted to ask you, apart from the obvious of working with a world-renowned chef like Jean-Georges, what attracted you to being part of this brand? Uh, well, Jean-Georges is um, a well-known chef all around the world. Um, amazing concept in the, in the States, uh, Tokyo, Shanghai. So when I knew that it's going to come in Dubai, I was really amazed and uh, excited to be part of this uh, project, of this new concept. So what exciting things can we see in the future from this amazing brand? Uh, well, um, Jean George uh, is uh, setting a lot of uh, high standards. Uh, the quality of food is amazing and um, they're using a lot of seasonal ingredients and uh, is a basic something that is uh, keeping uh, Evolving, I would say, is uh, the food is amazing. We try our best with uh, with the service. Try to you know pay attention to details. Make sure that uh, every single experience is uh, excellent. I would say, 
and um, yeah, it's the overall experience that the guests they can get here in St George. Well, thank you very much for giving us that insight, and we can't see, wait to see more of you. Thank you. is Chef Salvina, who is the main chef and creator of Omnia in Dubai. How are you today? I'm amazing. Thank you very much. A rare night off to come and try this fabulous new place. So I know that you said that you've been here before for the opening. So what are you expecting to see today when you've got the full menu there for you to sample? Uh, Jean-Georges has been uh, a fascination of mine for such a long time. He's one of the best chefs. I love his cuisine. And what we tried on the opening night was phenomenal. So I'm really looking forward to something very exquisite, very very elegant and very delicious because it's so very few places you eat very very well in this town. So many to eat okay but so few to eat really well and uh, he himself is coming to my place because he uh, actually has never had Emirati food, modern Emirati food so I think tomorrow he will be coming to my place and I'm very chuffed about it and my guys are a little bit nervous cooking for Jean-Georges but you know we will do well I think. In the kitchen at uh, Jean-Georges and joining me is Cedric. Hi Cedric. Hi. Very well, and you? I'm very well, thank you. So can you tell me what your role is here in the kitchen? So uh, I came here for unfortunately just a week uh, to come here and help Jean-Georges uh, with the, the launch of uh, uh, Jean-Georges in Dubai. Uh, part of the, the kitchen where we do, you know, we do some pizza, some fun stuff, some burrata, some uh, fried chicken with uh, scotch bonnet. So I'm just here, you know, to kind of look at what's going on with the food and helping him out. So here I am at the front desk with James. James, can you tell me a little bit about your position in the company? Sure, I'm a Vice President of Operations with uh, Jean-Georges and uh, I'm based in New York City and I oversee day-to-day uh, -day operations in New York and then participate with international development and openings. So can you tell me a little bit about the project here in Dubai? Sure, uh, this project is uh, really our latest effort uh, with Jean-Georges' uh, latest uh, cuisine and, and menus and I think it's uh, uh, sort of our newest collaboration with uh, uh, Jean-Georges and some of the you know, best menu items from some of our best restaurants. So I'm here now with Mark who is the restaurant manager for JG Kitchen. So how are you today Mark? Good evening, very well, how are you? Very well, thank you. So congratulations on the opening. Very exciting. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about JG Kitchen? So JG Kitchen is part of uh, Jean-Georges Dubai. As you can see, it's a bit more of a relaxed environment compared to the dining room that we have on the other side. Over here we serve everything, uh, we could call it like global eclectic cuisine. You have everything from uh, pizza, pasta, we have sushi, ceviche, dishes that are influenced from uh, all around the world. Hi, my name is Mega. I'm heading the sales and events for Ginza Group. Hi, my name is Bianca and I'm the marketing manager for Ginza Group. So can you just tell me a little bit about Ginza Group? Because I know you've got Ginza Fashion and Ginza Restaurants. How do those two cooperate and collaborate? Well, Ginza Fashion was the first to be open for the part of the Ginza Group, so they were the first section for us. And that obviously led naturally into food and beverage. It's all about lifestyle, so the two complement each other very well. So can you tell me a little bit more about your involvement in this project? Well, as for now, let's say that both of us haven't had a good sleep for the past three weeks, <laughs> but we are very excited because we are very excited for the opening and we have tried some of the food. The food is, I have to say, amazing. I love food, so, and um, it's it's interesting to see how a lot of passion have been put through to these restaurants, and uh, now we are very happy that it's up here, running, ready, and on our first opening today, tonight. Perfect. Yeah. So, what are your hopes for this restaurant and your future projects? You know, what what are you hoping to achieve with Ginza Group? Success. <laughs> and uh, I hope we open a lot of uh, interesting food that. And also very important is services. As you know, when we come to Jean Georges, we're very particular about services. We have all the team from New York, for example, here to make sure that you know customer service and service, not only the food is, is a top notch and a high high level. Yeah. 
Yeah, we want to sort of ex we want to um, go past people's expectations. I think people have a certain view on fine dining in Dubai, and we want to re redefine that. So I think that's a very important element for John George. It's really expanding people's knowledge of what you can expect from a fine dining experience. So this restaurant is is great for a flagship one for us, and then to expand further into that that sector for us to to stand apart from the things that you have already in Dubai and take it to that that next step level. Oh,